Good morning. So yesterday was a tree haul day and other plants. I thought I'd give you a shot of what we, what all we got before I place them all around the, the garden and whatnot. So we have the hop seed bush. It's a fast growing shrub. Pretty nice. Native to Arizona. A jojoba, which is also a native to Arizona. Canna lilies, which are not native, but they provide nice chop and drop. Some figs. An aloe. I think this is a short leaf aloe. Century plants or agaves. Um, I don't know. These may be blue or Americana. I'm not too keen on those. Um, another aloe, zebra aloe, and we have a shoestring acacia, and there's another shoestring acacia back there, and a willow acacia. Now, these three are from Australia, but they're adapted to the desert pretty well. They're an acacia, so they're a nitrogen fixer. And I think they're going to look wonderful in our garden. But I thought I'd show you this stuff before I plant it. Alright, we're back. Kind of wanted to show you where I'm going to plant everything before I do. We're on the west corner of the bus. Where we place this mesquite next to the fig. We're going to put the hop seed in here. There's already a couple aloes in here. There's brittle bush. Cowdy gourds come up in here and mustards come up in here already. So I'll put something to come up in the summertime. And over here on the other corner, and this would be the east side of the bus, we're putting the shoestring acacia. We're putting some aloe plants on the, or excuse me, agave plants on the outside and aloe plants on the back side of this mesquite tree. Now again we already have seeds come up in here. There's I believe dill, mustards, and daikons that come up in here. Now we're moving to the east side of the bus where we're going to do our main planting. I'm going to start off with the agave there. That's a Palo Verde. There's going to be a pomegranate here. We have the, jo the jojoba next to the mesquite, another aloe. Now we're going to take the cannas that you see, separate them and spread them out along the back side of this. Hopefully they get a little shade. Then we've got a fig going to go in here, another aloe next to this poplar, a pomegranate in between the poplar and this palo verde. Another fig over here between that Palo Verde and that Poplar. And then what you're not seeing is that we've got probably about six prickly pears ready to go. And they're going to go in here. We're also going to be placing about a thousand seeds. Daikons, dill, mustard. Um, just stuff that we've already had come up voluntarily on the property and it's going to extend here. I'm going to put this shoestring acacia in this pit where it all runs down to and it should do well there. I'm also going to be planting this willow acacia in the middle of this area. So eventually when you look on this side there should be a mesquite come up here, this acacia, palo verde, a line of trees along the back and all the way around and that should give us a little shade on the east side of the bus on the west side we put shade cloth up um, also in here we're going to be spreading out a whole bunch of mimosa seeds and use those as chop and drop along with the cannas as chop and drop so it should work out pretty well tell me what you think love to hear from you 
Okay, it's later on in the afternoon. I've got holes dug. I've got a basically a pit dug. I don't know if you can tell. It's about four inches down, and I've left room to add soil. Um, this is garden soil, organic Kellogg. We've used it in the past, and it's worked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant all these. And as you can see, I left room that I'm going to fill this up with a layer of organic garden soil through here. Then on top of that, I'll put droppings and then hay. So we'll come back to this when I get it planted. But I just wanted to show you the progress. I think it's looking pretty good. Let's take a overall view. So one thing I didn't mention earlier is this is oriented north-south. Um, everybody I've seen that does it, they do it that way. They say they have better results. So we'll see. And I'll talk to you later. So we're back at it. It's another day. I got everything planted down the row, except of course the pomegranates that need to go in, all the way down. I've spread my topsoil across a thin layer. That's the two bags we used. The next thing I'll do is spread these seeds. In here we have daikons, we have pak choy, we have temporary beans, navy beans, cowpeas, tohoka onum, melons, um, there's some globe mallow, there's some common mallow, there's some okra and rosella hibiscus for the summer. Um, probably going to put more daikons in, but we're going to get this spread. Then I'll add that organic material to there coming out of the goat pen on top of everything. And then I'll put mulch. We'll be about done. All right. So the final step is done. We've got the seeds down. As you can see, got a nice layer of green goat manure. And this is just stuff they've ground into the ground in their pen when we clean it out. Everything's nice and green coated. <laughs> but it'll wash away. So one last view before I cover it with straw. Not too heavy because I want to see what seeds come up and I've got to work on the path from around here it used to come up through here but now obviously I'm not going to be able to so the path's going to go around and come through right about where those aloes are at so that's why I haven't done the outside yet because I got to see what I got to do to all this before I do it and uh, note, I decided not to put the canos in here because it kind of goes against the purpose of what I have on this side is that one day I hope it's just sustainable on its own. So the canos will never be there. Um, they're going to need protection from the sun. They're going to need more water. So I'm going to find a different place for those. But tell me what you think about this. Do you think it works? think it's just too much I want to know so thank you for watching